Hello folks, my name is Jack Rubinacci. I'm a professional musician and songwriter. I make my living every day by writing, recording and performing music. I also have what I think is pretty bad tinnitus. I wanted to make this video to share some of the tips and systems that I've put in place to help me cope with being a musician whilst at the same time as having tinnitus. I hope you find some of this information beneficial. So I developed tinnitus at the age of 27 after a long recording session, but really it was the culmination of many years of being in bands, loud performances, loud recordings, drums, guitars, that sort of thing. The day after getting tinnitus I knew what it was and I was pretty sure that it wasn't going to go away. And that's when I made my first mistake. In fact my whole relationship with tinnitus has been a, a catalogue of mistakes. I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing. I carried on. I was a bit sort of shook up at first. But then I just carried on. It wasn't until I was about 35, 36 that I started to take it really seriously because things were getting really bad. Then on the 17th of November of 2016, I was editing a video all day long. There was this noise in the video that was sort of a bit sharp. And then I went straight out the door and did a show. Man, that was a mistake. The next few weeks, my tinnitus just went through the roof and it got really bad. I wasn't sure if I could continue as a musician. The noise was just unbearable. But it's 2020, I'm still here, I'm still writing, I'm still recording, and I'm still rocking. So I'd like to share with you some advice, some tips, and some systems that I've put in place that have helped me cope and have helped me stay a musician whilst at the same time as having this ridiculous noise in my head. Tip number one, take it seriously. If you're watching this video, you might be a musician that's experiencing your first symptoms of tinnitus. You might not be a musician, but you're just experiencing tinnitus for the first time or you might be someone that's experiencing a spike in your tinnitus and are worried about it. Whichever one you are, take it seriously. Don't make the same mistake that I made. I just carried on and didn't do anything about it. You can do something about it. There are things that you can do that sort of help you keep your tinnitus at the level that it is, or at least reduce the chances of it getting worse. So be proactive, take it seriously, don't ignore it, and do something about it. Tip number two buy some earplugs. I know it's boring, I know it's mundane, but this can reduce your chances of your tinnitus getting worse. Whenever you're in a loud environment, a recording studio, or, or doing a gig, or just being outside in somewhere that, where there's loud music, this can help you. This keeps me in the game. Without these, I couldn't do it. When I talk to musicians about earplugs, sometimes they don't want to sort of get involved. They don't want to spend the money. And I say to them, well, how much did your rig cost? And they go, well, my guitar was 800 pound, my amp was £2,000, my guitar board was another £1,000 or £500, whatever it is. And I say to them, but this is your most important instrument. For £150, you can protect your most important instrument. These are valuable. I take them everywhere. Tip number three, buy a second pair of earplugs. So this is what happened to me. When I was 37 and my ears were getting really bad, I got my ears molded. And from that mold, I bought a professional pair of molded silicon earplugs. I was so proud of myself. I was thinking, I'm taking this stuff seriously now. This is gonna be good. I put those earplugs in my gig bag and within two or three gigs, I changed gig bag, went to the gig, loud music, no earplugs, tinnitus through the roof. Now I have four pairs of earplugs. I don't have the biggest budget, but this is important to me. I have one pair on my mixing desk here, so if I'm doing stuff that doesn't need my absolute attention, I put them in just to keep the frequencies flat. I have a pair on my car keys, just in case I don't have my wallet with me. I have one pair in my wallet, and then I have another pair, a pair of hunting minus 35 earplugs in my gig bag, so that wherever I am, in whatever situation I am, I'm covered, because without those earplugs keeping the frequencies flat, I'm in big trouble. Tip number four, don't panic. No matter how bad your tinnitus is right now, I promise you it's going to get better. I know because I've been there. My tinnitus goes up and down and it's been as bad as I could possibly take, but it gets better. The reason why it gets better is because your brain is malleable. It's only interested in things that interest it. That sound in your head is pretty boring to your brain. So after a while, it's just going to ignore it. It's not going to go away but your brain will just ignore it. Think of the guy that buys a flat by the motorway. When he first moves in, the sound of the motorway is gonna drive him mad. But after a while, his brain just ignores it because it's boring, it's not interesting. So the brain just sort of filters it out. And that's gonna to happen to your tinnitus. So if your tinnitus is really bad right now, I promise you, 
your brain is going to start to ignore it over a period of time. It might take a few months, but it will start to ignore it. Things are going to happen in your life. You're going to move house. You're going to change job. You're going to, you're going to do stuff. You're going to fall in love. You're going to meet new people, new situations. And with all these distractions, your brain will slowly just ignore that sound. So if it's really bad right now, just remember it's going to get better. I know because I've been there. I've really been there. My tinnitus was really bad. Now I just get on with it. Tip number five, apps. Apps that you can download on your phone can help you get through a spike in your tinnitus. When I'm going for a really bad spell, I use an app called T-. minus. It's by a guy called Rupert in England. He does a fantastic job. He's got loads of different sounds you can use. You can tune the sounds to the frequency of your tinnitus. It's really good. I have no affiliation with that app. There's lots of different apps you can use there. I just happen to use that one because it's a very good one. But there are many you can download onto your phone and they can help you get through a bad spell. Again, it's part of being proactive. Again, it's, it's a part of distracting your brain so that your brain isn't obsessing about it. And that leads me nicely onto tip number six. Don't obsess about your tinnitus. Don't obsess about it. The more you think about it, the worse it's gonna get. And it is very much a mental game with tinnitus. Tinnitus is not going to biologically affect your body there are worse things that can happen to your body. I know that sounds really bad, but having experienced a few difficulties with my health with other things, it made me realize that tinnitus is something that I can deal with. And I say that wanting to share a lot of strength with you because I know it's very difficult with tinnitus. I'm not trying to downplay it. I, I know how bad it can get, but there are worse things that can happen to your body. So don't obsess about it. The less you think about it, the better it's going to get. Do things that you like doing. Enjoy your life. Do other stuff. Distract your brain. It's all about distracting your brain. Find things you love doing. With myself, I love music, so it sort of takes my mind off it. And if I'm not doing music, I try and keep my brain active and just ignore this stupid noise in my mind. I just try and ignore it. So don't obsess about it. Also, with forums, there are lots of good forums that you can go to to get advice. Go to those forums, get the advice you need, but don't keep going back day after day because it's gonna make you think about it. And the more you think about it, the worse it's gonna get. So don't obsess about it. Tip number seven, be open about your tinnitus. For many years, I hid it from people. I was embarrassed by it. I felt like it was some sort of joke, a musician with tinnitus. But then eventually I started opening up. I started talking about it with my family. I started telling my friends. And it just sort of took down the burden. It sort of relieved the burden from me. Now my family know not to play loud music around me. My friends know that if I'm around their house not to have loud music blasting out. Or if I'm at a party and I wear earplugs. I just tell people the reason why I'm wearing earplugs is because I've got tinnitus. It helps to be open about it. Nobody really cares. It's not that important to them. So just be open about it. It helps you. I promise you it, it helps to just talk to people about it. The last thing I want to say in this video is don't let it get you down. Don't let it defeat you. This silly noise in our heads shouldn't stop us from living a fulfilled life. I'm not suggesting that it's easy because it's not. I know it's not. My tinnitus goes up and it goes down. But the one thing that stays true is that I got to stay strong. I got to live my life. I got to do what I love, which is music. And I won't let it stop me. And you shouldn't either. So live a fulfilled life. This is going to be okay. I promise you. As down as you've been, I've been there too. And things get better. Things do get better. So stay strong. Keep the love in your heart. And know that your tinnitus is not going to stop you. Tell your tinnitus, it's not going to stop me from living a fulfilled life. And that comes from strength of character. And it's got to come from you. So I give you my heart with love. I hope that, I hope that you can stay strong. Because I know it's difficult. But you're going to be all right. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this information beneficial, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Spotify if you're interested in my music. But for now, I want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.